A high school home to more than 1,000 students had to cancel classes today due to a teacher shortage. Many teachers at Nevada Union High School calling out this morning in response to actions taken by the local school board. Now Fox 40's Aton Wallace was able to talk with the superintendent and the president of the teachers union about what the school board did and why a whole lot of teachers in the district feel ignored. This parking lot typically filled with the cars of students and faculty today sat mainly empty at Nevada Union High School. That's because here there was no school. The district canceling classes for the more than 1500 students and teachers who typically fill this campus. The reason for the closure, a teacher shortage clearly articulated on this sign the administration posted on the front door of the school office. Specifically, several teachers called out this morning. We feel unsupported and we feel placed in a very uncomfortable position where we don't want to jeopardize our credential. Eric Mayer is a physics teacher and the president of the Nevada Joint Union High School Teachers Association. He says today's absence of educators was not organized by a group, but instead came from individual teachers frustrated with the NJUHSD Board of Trustees. It all comes after the board voted three to one with one abstention on Tuesday to change its masking enforcement protocols for students. According to the resolution, enforcement of the state mask requirement will now come in the form of asking students to put on a mask and providing them with mask wearing education. The decision that the board made puts us in an impossible position where we are either to defy the board, our boss, or defy the state law. And our credentials are conditional on us upholding the law. Mayor tells Fox 40 the frustration lies not in whether to mask or not to mask, but rather in what he says was a breach of contract, noting the board did not consult with teachers nor public health professionals before taking the vote. Mr. Superintendent. In a phone conversation, NJUHSD Superintendent Brent McFadden said he did all he could to keep school open today, but simply did not have the resources to do so, and now he's caught in the middle. Myself and my education leaders in the school district, what we're trying to do is, is educate our kids and provide a safe and sound environment. And it's growing increasingly difficult to be able to do this when you have such a high level of rancorous public discourse on all sides of the political spectrum. We don't want to be away from our students and away from our classroom. We we want to be here. We choose this job for a reason. A sentiment he plans to bring to a meeting with administration officials tomorrow. In Nevada County, Aton Wallace, Fox 40 News. And we did reach out to the school board president and vice president, but have not heard back.